Uh, we never stop looking for good people um, as long as short of it. We have kind of a rolling recruitment program. So essentially what we do is we have a continual call for um, software engineers, business analysts, project managers, and UI, UX engineers as well on the, on the design side. Because it's really important that you know, it's not just enough to build good software, it has to look good as well, uh, as, as, both as an end user and the, website that, the websites that we build and put out there. Um, mobile is very important for us. So um, we kind of treat our recruitment process as looking for great people with the raw skills to come in who we can mold to our way of doing business. Um, and that's why, we, that's why we work so closely with the universities, um, because we're really looking to find um, people who have the innate ability um, to join us and become productive members of the team quite quickly. Uh, that's our. That's what we tackle. We don't. We don't recruit for three months of the year and then stop and then and then start recruiting again. We almost have a continuous call, uh, not non-stop. And you know, when we find good people, we take them on. You know, because good people are hard to find. But the projects are, re are are quite interesting from a, from a number of perspectives. So so first of all, you're looking at the the technical difficulty that that the student actually chose chose to pick up and run with. So for example. Um, you love you love some people go for something which is I won't say easy, but it's you know, maybe uh, it's more cut and dried or open and shut. Um, whereas somebody else will have clearly picked a project that they intended to challenge themselves all the way through all the way through the year, and they and they saw it as a real learning experience. Uh, and those are the people who are very interesting to talk to. You know, people who are, who are motivated to do that. Uh, then there's the execution, right? So so how do, having having picked up uh, a particular project to do, how well did they execute on that project? And the third thing we're looking for then would be the presentation. So, because um, you can have an excellent piece of software, but if you can't, if you can't project or explain that software to people, and that can be in, in written form, oral form, in actually giving a hands-on demo, um, those three things, you know, they're almost like the three legs of the stool. And uh, you know, you know, the good, the good, the good people that we're looking for, the good candidates, would tend to score highly across those three areas. So they would be picking a challenging area of research, they would execute on it well, uh, but then they can also present it well. Um, and you know, those are three excellent attributes to have. I think uh, today all of the projects had had a had something going for them in one in one in one form or another. You know, you could clearly see that people were looking at you know combinations of hardware and software. So we saw we saw some home automation stuff using Arduino, and um, a lot of Android, iOS stuff going on out there. So 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 mobile's big as well. Um, there was actually there was some interesting maths related projects you know I saw like the chain rule for differentiation out there some of the encryption and hashing algorithms you know those are high-end and um, topics of research you know and uh, you know they're very you either know your stuff in that area or you don't right it's very it's very black and white and anybody who knows security algorithms will, will come in and, and very quickly validate that you that you've, you've done it or you haven't uh, and the same with the chain rule so uh, simplex algorithm as well so in general I think uh, we're, uh, we've been impressed with the with, with the quality and caliber of what we've seen um, uh, in terms of how benchmarking across across the UK and Ireland, I would say I would say I would say well, you know, there's a. It's always interesting to see that these things year on year get better and better. There was a couple. There was a couple of people who uh, I thought put together some uh, some really strong presentations and projects, and we'll be uh, yeah we were, we were we were handing out the business cards and trying to trying to take some CVs as well. So uh, hopefully some things will develop from there. Um, In terms of in terms of the people that we found here at Swansea University, I think we've got a we've got at least two graduates from from Swansea. One's a postgrad and one's a one, one's an undergrad. Uh, and obviously we've got uh, you know Ricardo who's going to come back and complete his complete his internship as well. And uh, now that he's got exams out of the way, uh, in general I think um, what we see from people coming from Swansea University that you know they've got the, certainly the people that we've encountered and people that we've taken on they've got a great attitude. You know so 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 they're very keen to uh, to progress their own understanding and learning of what they do. Uh, we, we use machine learning an awful lot. It's, it's intrinsic to, to some, some of the key engines and algorithms that we run to improve the performance of e-commerce. Um, it's nice to see that you know, the guys are covering machine learning here as well. Um, you know, machine learning is the latest buzzword du jour. You know, before that it was called artificial intelligence, before that it was called artificial neural networks and, and, and everything else. Um, so, but, but machine learning is important for us. Because for us, on, on, on this side of things, it is all about trying to engage with the, with the various research institutions and getting access to good people and getting them excited about what we're trying to do. 
Um, and you know, I, I believe Software Alliance Wales can be a big help to us to do that.